So I mentioned the other day, <coughs> CEOs read, well, successful people, whatever realm, read 60 books a year on average. And you wonder how do they get time for that? And why do they take time for that in the middle of all of their CEOing or succeeding? Well, it's important to make time for it. For the second reason, and this is this is something I <clears throat> have found very important in my own life right now, starting out as a creativity coach. You need to know what you need to know. That can be very difficult when you're starting out because uh, I'll take myself for example. I wrote a book. I'm like, yay, okay, now how do I get this thing published? Well, I had to look up and I had to figure out are you going to go publish the traditional route? Okay, yeah, I'll look at that. And then somebody said, what about self-publishing? I said, what about self-publishing? And I had to look up all of that. And then I got to working with the Igniting Souls Tribe and Author Academy Elite, which I highly recommend. It is a perfect investment. If you want to make writing and what you write about into your lifestyle and your business, go to the Igniting Souls page or Carrie Oberbrunner. And I'll put a link at the bottom of this video. Look at what they have to say. It's great. But what I learned in that course was that there's more to it than just writing the book and telling people, hey, I wrote a book. All of a sudden I learned you have to do marketing. You have to do, there's speaking, there's internal layout, there's ISBN, there's copyright, there's so one of the reasons that the most successful people in the world read a ton of books is because in reading those books you learn what you, not just the information you want to know but you learn what you have yet to learn so as you're going along and you're saying okay I've got this book about how to I don't know how to live the artist's lifestyle and you're a successful artist and you want to write about it. But all of a sudden, as you're going through, you realize, wait a minute, designers have a lot of the same problems and a lot of the same challenges and a lot of the same stuff that I go through. And all of a sudden you discovered that you can touch not just artists, but designers and architects and beginning architects and beginning designers who are still working out of their working out of their basements or out of their little apartments trying to get a name for them you realize wait a minute I can reach out and talk to them too and you learn that you need to know how to set up a show and you need learn that you need to know how to approach somebody how to approach an art studio you learn a ton of different things because you read about the people who did them and you found the fringe topics and you found the side the side quests that strengthen you in your main quest and you got all of these things because you spent a lot of time looking for them and this makes you not only a wiser person but a better whatever you are so don't just read Twilight and don't just read books for entertainment. You got to keep those. You, you have to keep those because those are part of your inspiration. But spend a lot of time reading books that are going to take you the direction you want to go with your life. It's difficult and it can be boring. But like I said in my last video, you're looking to discover the waters ahead. But you're also looking to learn what you have to learn. This is Chris Schallert, Idea Engine. Go out, find something old. There's a lot of old stuff out there. Make it something new.